And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel where we talk about anything related to comic books, like new releases, popular stories, or TV shows based on comic books. In today's video, I'll talk about all the details that I found in Kriven the Hunter's official trailer, even though it was released about a week ago, so sorry for being late. The movie is set for release this October, starring Karen Taylor Johnson as Sergei Kravinov, Fred Hetzinger as Kraven's brother Dimitris Martyakov, Russell Crowe as Kraven's father Nikolai Kravinov, Aniana DeBose as Calypso, Christopher Abbott as The Foreigner, and Alessandro Nivola as Alexei Shichevitz. So, with no further ado, let's start. Before I start, I'd just like to say a few things about who Kraven is, so that you get to know the character better. For a more detailed video on that, check out the video that just appeared in the top right corner. So, Craven was born in the early 20th century. He came from a family of aristocrats who moved to America after the fall of the Tsar. He was obsessed with big game hunting and spent time in Africa, where he met a voodoo witch that gave him a potion that could enhance his powers, giving him the strength, the speed, the agility, and the senses of a jungle cat. Some time later, he went to America to hunt Spider-Man, who he considered his most dangerous game. Using his powers and some traps, Craven soon became a worthy adversary of the wall crawler and started having an obsession with proving that he's Spider-Man superior. Now that you know who Craven is, let's get to the breakdown. First of all, I'll have to ask the children to leave. The movie has too much violence for them. Okay, now that the young ones are gone, we all have to admit that the best part of the trailer was when Craven said, It's hunting time, and started hunting all around. It's hunting time. <laughs> Classic Craven moment. So, I have found quite a few details in the trailer that I'd like to show you, so let's get into it. Number one. In the beginning of the trailer, we can see that Craven has a vision of a truck, which probably has something to do with his connection with animals that is revealed later in the trailer. An animal, like a bird, sees the truck and the image of the truck is transferred to Craven's mind through some sort of psychic link. Then, Kraven goes after that truck barefoot, meaning that he doesn't need shoes to run fast, like an animal doesn't need shoes. Number two. Boys, your mother is dead. She died because you sent her away. She was weak, sick in her mind. We get a flashback from his past, showing his father Nikolai Kravinov, telling Sergei and Dimitri that their mother died. After Sergei blames his father for her death, Nikolai says that their mother was sick in her mind, and he had to send her away. In the comics, Sergei's mother was sent to an insane asylum, where she killed herself. So if the movie is anything like the comics, then this is probably how she died. In addition, we can see that the Kravinov family is inside a car. A relatively new one, actually, meaning that the flashback is set in the late 20th century, or the early 21st century. While in the comics, Sergei was born during the Russian Revolution at the beginning of the 20th century. She died because you sent her away. Here, Sergei has an American accent, meaning that he has lived his whole life in America. While in the comics, when his family moved to America, he was a child, but had lived a few years in Russia. In the same scene, we can see Dimitris Martyakov, who becomes the chameleon in the comics in Amazing Spider-Man number 1 in 1963. He is Kraven's half-brother, but here it seems that they have the same mother, so his name is probably Dmitry Kravinov in this movie. Number three. You know my business, yes? Power is about strength. In the next scene, in which Nikolai talks with Sergei, we can see a stuffed fox and a lion's head, meaning that Sergei's father was also a hunter. Number four. Power is about strength. There's a scene with a man shooting people in something that looks like a bar, and Nikolai seems to be involved with it, meaning that Kramer's dad will be one of the bad guys in the movie. Number 5 He is weak, like his mother. Leave him. What happened that day? Now we see Craven's origin. His father is probably trying to teach him and his brother how to hunt, but a lion attacks Sergei and injures him. Part of the lion's blood came in contact with Sergei's blood and became part of his DNA. So Sergei got his powers after he was attacked by a feline 
and became the leopard from Lime Street. Sorry, wrong comic, but it was too similar to not talk about it. In the comics, Craven does have some sort of lion powers, but he obtained them after Calypso's potion and not from lion bite. When Sergei's DNA changes, we can see a skeleton riding a horse in his eyes. And what they did here is actually brilliant. A skeleton riding a horse is what is depicted on a death tarot card. Don't jump into conclusions though, once someone gets this card, it's not a warning that they'll die soon. Okay, it could be that, but it usually means that there is the possibility of a transformation for somebody. Although I don't believe in cards and all this stuff, it was extremely smart to include this, since both of these cards' meanings are shown in this scene. Number 6 I stared death in the face. And for the first time, I saw my true self. During the transformation, Sergei's eyes become like the ones of a feline because of the lion bite. His eyes even glow in the dark later in the trailer. In number 7. He is weak, like his mother. Leave him. In the scene showing Kriven's origin, next to Sergei's dad, we can also see Alexei Sichevich, who will become the rhino in the movie. Since Alexei will be the main villain, or at least one of the villains, Nikolai was seen in that bar scene, them being friends confirms what I said about Sergei's dad being one of the villains. Number 8 Tell me about this hunter. They say he uses a connection with animals to track his prey. And once you're on his list, there's only one way off. When Craven was attacked by mercenaries, he used his connection with animals to command the wolves to attack them, meaning that he doesn't have a connection solely with fel felines. Later, we see that he can also communicate with Hawks. Number 9. For just a second, we get to see Christopher Abbott as the Foreigner. The Foreigner is a Spider-Man villain who first appeared in Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, number 115, in 1986. His real name is unknown, and the only thing we know about him is that he's an assassin and mercenary. Nothing else is known about his past, apart from the fact that he used to be married to Silver Sable. Number 10. Later, we see Ariana DeBose as Calypso a character who first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 209 in 1980. In the comics, she is the voodoo witch that made the serum that gave Kraven his powers. Now, I have no clue what they're gonna do with her in the movie, since Kraven got his powers in another way, but this is definitely going to be Kraven's love interest. Number 11. Why do you hunt? My father puts evil into the world. I take it out. For the third time, what the set gets confirmed. Kraven's father is going to be one of the villains. Number 12. I think you're some kind of honor. You are exactly like our father. Just another man hunting for a trophy. Kraven's brother, Dimitri, played by Fred Hetzinger, tells him that he's just another man hunting for a trophy, meaning that Kraven isn't exactly an anti-hero and he fights the villains of the film for his own selfish reasons and to get a trophy. I don't know what this trophy is, but I'm kinda confused, because just a few seconds ago, Kraven said that his dad brings the evil into the world, and he takes it out. So he is an anti-hero, or is he a villain because of the whole trophy hunting thing? Okay, my brain is about to stop braining, so we'll have to wait and see. Number 13. Here, Kraven seems to be afraid of spiders. This is actually very comic accurate, because in the comics, his mother was sent to an insane asylum where she killed herself, and since then, Kraven has been having hallucinations of the spiders in the asylum. Number 14. In the next scene, Kraven opens a wooden box with the comic accurate lion vest inside. ATJ finally looks like Kraven. If you notice carefully, Kraven has a necklace with three teeth, while in the first scene that we saw, the necklace only had one tooth. Unfortunately, I got a feeling that this means that he only gets the comic accurate suit in the end of the movie and after he has taken out the bad guys, since the other two teeth could be theirs. Oh no, wait a sec. Before he wore it, the necklace still had one tooth, so the next scene must be set later in the film. Phew, that's a relief. Number 15. There is an animal in each one of us. Don't you want to know? Why they call me the Rhino? The last detail I found, which isn't exactly a detail, is the Rhino. Alexei Sitchevich, played by Alessandro Nivola, seems to be the main villain of the movie. Rhino first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 41 in 1966. In the comics, Alexei was a thug in the Russian Mafia that wore strong armor that was basically like a rhino's skin. 
This time, he won't be wearing a mech suit like he did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but he'll be a cross species, meaning that he'll be half human, half rhino, and he'll have organic rhino skin. So we can expect a version of Rhino similar to the one from the Amazing Spider-Man game and the Ultimate Spider-Man series. Well, this was today's video. I hope you liked it and thought that the details I found were interesting. Let me know what you think about the movie and if you're planning to watch it when it comes out. If you really enjoyed my video, you can support me by subscribing, clicking the like button and allowing all notifications. So, until the next time, goodbye true believers! It's hard and dying.